And a surprise for Complexity, Colton coming out, usually taking a seat after the 2v2 set. That means Razor will retire for the rest of the afternoon. And on the other side of it, we've got Oxlade, who has been 3-3 three and three so far in King of the Hill, off to a really, really strong start, but struggled a bit since. Colton making his head-to-head -head debut this season, went 4-8 and eight in King of the Hill last year. Yep, and did not play in any 1v1 sets. Although last year, if you played in 2v2, you were not allowed to play in 1v1. Same thing this year, just the, the yeah, change the in order. Are, yes, exactly. Oxlitz had some mixed success. Of course, he had that opening sweep that was very impressive to start the season, but since then has lost three games in King of the Hill. And a big swing in from that Mega Minion to take the Furnace out of play. So here we are, first minute down. Only a little bit of damage done thus far. And you see the snowball coming in to push that musketeer into range of the princess tower. So far, Colton playing very well, very reactive. And doing a very good job of protecting his furnace. Oxlet hovering there with that snowball. You can see, I, I like I like to be able to see Oxlet's work on that giant iPad there on the yeah. right-hand side. You can see a little bit of what Colton's doing on the left, but I mean, you can practically watch the game on, on the machine that Oxlet's playing on. Yeah, and it's really fascinating to watch predictive plays from someone on their device, someone at this level on their device, I should say. So, first two minutes down, and Oxlet finally RGs behind King Tower. Colton hitting 10 here now, going to respond with guards in the back. Mega Minion, so he's really doubling down on defense before he tries to play his win condition. And a great bar barrel there from Oxlet, cleaning everything up in the way. And an early lightning! And the lightning just barely misses the drop of that furnace, and that would have been Really nice to get that in the mix as well. Yeah, I could have definitely just really put a lot of momentum in Oxlet's corner. RG's up again. You see him getting a little bit frustrated with those poisons. Colton playing very patient in this opening game of King of the Hill. Yeah, it's almost making me uneasy how patient he's playing. And again, Lightning this time does not get the Furnace. So we're going into Sudden Death Overtime and things separated only by two HP. Poison will change that. Poison down again, taking care of the Furnace for the most part. RGing up in the back is Oxalate. It's amazing, this is Oxalate's, I think, third or fourth Royal Giant. Colton has yet to make a significant offensive push, and they are still fairly even. Well, not anymore. After that, yeah. the Royal Giant shot. Another one comes in. That furnace in the back was ill-advised. Nothing to catch the Royal Giant. And now the graveyard finally comes down, but it is not going to have anything to tank for it. So a minute in, trying to get some poison value is Colton, but playing from behind. And at this point, Oxlade might just play defense, try to lighten out. I mean, that is that is definitely the smarter and safer move at this point. He only has to get to two more lightnings, or he could do uh, lightning and a couple snowballs. And there you go, lightning, snowball. Needs to hit that 307 mark. Barbarians in defense, and it looks like Ox has the same idea that we did. Yeah, and Colton there may be playing a little too conservatively for the first couple minutes of this game. You understand why him recognizing the RG was in his opponent's hand, knowing you can be punished by that and the lightning. However, as we saw earlier this week, sometimes the best defense is an offense, and right there, Oxlet did not blink. Colton down, Air Surfer up. Up next for Oxlet. 
It's the Expo Master himself. Well, maybe not Expo Master. <laughs> maybe he's spoken a little wrong there. <laughs> it's the Expo Player Air Surfer. Yeah, Air Surfer. Shout out to Expo Master. <laughs> Big fan of Expo Master Air Surfer now making his third King of the Hill appearance here, his third appearance period at CRL this season. So far struggling in his first two games, looking to find his first W. Air Surfer playing low and fast thus far. I'm oh, sorry, Oxlet. And looks like to be minor musky loon, most likely. Mega Minion demanding a snowball out of Oxalate. So if this is uh, RG Furnace from Air Surfer, this is one of the most debated matchups that we've we've seen in the community for a long time. Now, mostly it's centered around the minor rascals loon in the last couple of metas, but the idea, the question being, who has matchup between this uh, minor loon Inferno Tower deck and the RG Furnace deck? And I guarantee you, a lot of the Twitter community right now are each on their own side yelling, oh, well, this one, obviously. This one, obviously. And that Miner comes in to catch any unit that would pick up the Balloon. Very nice uh, a play there by Air Surfer, recognizing that if he were to go all in with that Lightning, Oxlet would most likely send in a Balloon. And he had all the answers, not taking any damage. So on one hand, you have the, the Furnace to, and the E-Wiz to pick up the Balloon. You have lightning to take care of the inferno tower when it comes down other hand some people say that you can out the oxalate has the ability to out cycle air surfer with the speed of this balloon deck all very very valid points however just the mega minion the furnace the lightning the e-wiz all these are great responses to that balloon One belch in from the Baby Dragon on the left, and an aggressive balloon to the left as well. Wow! And that balloon does get a drop, so that's what we're talking about. The the ability to outcycle, and now we are all, not just all tied up, Oxlade has taken a slight lead. Yeah, and you saw the conservative defense there from Air Surfer just barely missing. And that Royal Giant is doing very well on that tower. Should get one more big hit in. Well, the Muskie got retargeted to the Barbarian. So uh, it's kind of a, a rough moment there for Oxlet. And now with 20 seconds behind, he is significantly at a loss. And with the E-Wiz down, it's going to be very difficult for Oxlet to find any way through. Yeah, and that Miner goes right into the E-Wiz, but it's met by a Baby Dragon, Mega Minion, and of course the E-Wiz itself. And that is going to do it. Air Surfer coming out, finally getting his first win, finally building that confidence. So a very well played game by Air Surfer who finally gets into the win column. You know, he's a player who is obviously top in the world when playing uh, off the stage. And he's trying. He's, and now the hope is this season he translates that to be just as good on stage. And if he's doing that right now, he's going to be a very, very scary player this season. Yeah, and, and the difference is astronomical playing at home as opposed to these stages. I mean, even just joking around about you and I playing a game against each other on those towers, I was like, I just don't even think I want to deal with the pressure of being Even with up the there. cameras off. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> and with nothing riding on it. And no big surprises here. Eddie playing yep. Lava Hound. And it looks like Air Surfer is going to be going with that very, very successful Minor Prince control deck. Finally finding its first loss the other day. Yeah, absolutely. And that Inferno Tower is going to be super annoying for Eddie. And the Prince does get a Lance stab in a great snowball from Air Surfer. And that whole interaction just takes the wind out of your sails if you're Eddie. Not to mention the 1386 on his top right yes, tower. Yes. Both players resetting right now. Air Surfer kind of living in the moment that he just had. Eddie trying to figure out how to bounce back. I'm getting a little surprised by Eddie going back to Lava Hound again. He had some success with it, of course, to open up the season, but since then, uh, you know, he had he has stumbled a bit. Prince gets on the tower again. Eddie has no elixir to support his Lava Hound, and right now Air Surfer is playing 
perfect Clash Royale. And he is ahead by about a, an elixir and a half at the moment. So it maybe just in that situation wanted to force out a response. Oh, look at that. Yeah, it's great value. Baits yeah. out the skellies and the minions. Lumberjack stops the Prince on the left-hand side, still survives. We'll get taken down by the tower. And this has just got to be so frustrating for Eddie. Look at that. Miner in to tank for the bats. Snowball in to get value once again on the minions. And Eddie is just playing right into every single move that Air Surfer throws at him. And Air Surfer couldn't really be playing this any better at the moment no. either. Poison is down. Now this is going to be a moment for Eddie to get a couple hits in, but it's not going to be substantial. Yeah, you really cannot ask much more from Air Surfer at this moment. Playing really clean, really calm, good decision making. Yep. And and I was just going to say that this is the moment where you're going to see Air Surfer stay away from the left-hand side and play a hard defense on the right. 288 HP on that tower, a couple snowballs, poison. If he can get a miner in again, this should be easy money for him. Well, you got to bet that Eddie is playing clone here, so the question is, will he get one big Lava Clone push? And look, that's the kind of deck that can steal this thing. Miner goes to the inside. Snowball comes down. Lumberjack gets in just in time, so that does keep the tower out of poison range. But now it's in poison yep. range. And there it is. And that's going to be it. Just not able to get anything together in time. Air Surfer takes game number two of our game, second game here at King of the Hill. So now it's all on the shoulders of Frost, who does currently have a winning record in King of the Hill. Yep, and Air Surfer, smile on his face after that second win, now evening up his head-to-head -head record here at CRL, feeling the rhythm that he's been looking for since day one. Frost did extend the match against Energy last time out, clutching up against Thunderstruck and Carter in King of the Hill and sending it to 1v1, where they eventually fell in that match. Want to know if he can do it again. See rascals and archers. First minute down and it's Royal Hogs for Air Surfer. Nice snowball and they're going to clean up those minions that were got ahead of the battle ramp. Very cheap defense played by Air Surfer. So a pretty cheap version of bridge spam by Frost, met by fairly cheap defense, as my co just mentioned for Air Surfer. And you see Frost frustrated with how that interaction went, already down to 1325 on his right hand tower. Fireball. Air Surfer. Oh, and Frost really upset about that play. The Prince moving right past the Ice Golem. That was not what he wanted. No, not at all. And you, the luxury of the Fireball being out of cycle allowed Air Surfer to get that Rascal's Plate in one lane, now supporting his Mortar. So Mortar, Royal Hogs. Andrew, you had some fun playing with this in the lead up to this season. Yep, most likely that last card is going to be a Rocket. And uh, this is a very, very strong deck coming out for our Air Surfer. A precarious situation for Frost, needs to win two, and so far with a minute left, not looking good at the moment. Yeah, and he's down three elixirs, so the mortar comes down for Air Surfer. Air Surfer doing a great job of not committing too much to his mortar, knowing that it would be easy countered, or at least easily taken down. Although, Pretty even, still behind by three is Frost. And that oh, rocket oh, will oh, hit oh, that oh, Prince. Oh, oh, that was nasty. Air Surfer taking the wind out of Frost's sails. Yeah, that is a devastating blow to anyone. And Frost already playing from behind. That one hurts. Look at these just wonderful defensive interactions coming from Air Surfer, using the skeletons to the maximum of their ability. And now you see the defensive mortar coming down means, hey, 
I'm a rocket and some hogs away, or a couple rockets, you pick your poison. Oh, wow. Bandit does get to tower. Those hogs going to get through. Fireball comes down. The giant snowball pushes. So now that's going to be it. Just a rocket and snowball away from a complexity sweep over Dignitas. And the question has to be asked, what does Dignitas need to do to get another W in their column? They've, they've fallen now four times in a row after a great first showing. They've tried to switch up their 2v2, switch up their 1v1, but Air Surfer today really, really showing up. That is just wonderful. You see how happy he looks, a much more comfortable player this time around. Look, he was already great coming into the last season. Yeah. And for every other